Here's a quick lesson on how to graph quadratics using this online graphing calculator. Uh, and so uh, you'll be brought to a screen looking like this. Uh, on the right side, you can zoom in and out of your grid. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Uh, and we need to, in this top left section, enter in our equation. Uh, I'm going to start with the equation of y equals 2x squared. Well, I need to get squared. Uh, you can push this little keypad here to show uh, some extra things here. We want this to be squared, so I'm going to push this A squared button. And then I'm going to put plus 16x plus 30. And then you'll want to enter whatever equation you're trying to graph uh, into here so you can get to show up here on your right side. So you got your graph here on the right side. And you need to be able to identify the x-intercepts. Well, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. The x-intercepts are where it crosses the x-axis. If you come over close to it and tap on it a couple times, it'll show it. You tap, it shows it for you. So I got my two x-intercepts. We got negative 5 and then negative 3, 0. Uh, and you can change your equation to whatever you need it to be. Sometimes your x-intercepts are not as nice. Uh, I'm going to put in a different equation here. Just rewrite over my old one. I'm going to have negative x squared minus 8x minus 14. And I'll get a graph looking like this. And these graphs don't always show up here on the left side. That can be on the right, top, left, bottom, whatever. Uh, but here's my equation. And I need to, again, get my x-intercepts. So I'm going to come over here, click a couple times. And I got an x-intercept there. Come over here, click. I got an x-intercept there. So I got these two x-intercepts of negative 5.5, sorry, negative 5.414 and negative 2.586. Uh, and those are going to be my answers to the equation if my equation equals zero, right? Because y is zero at those two points. Uh, and so you can use graphing to solve a quadratic equation. You graph it and you find out where the x-intercepts are and that solves the equation. So that's what you're going to do today. Uh, get things graphed in there and then uh, find the x-intercepts, and you'll be good to go.